Hello, my name is Yogan Kumar. I'm a maths teacher at Ask IITNs. Okay, hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, let's start. Okay, we are going to do lecture number three on trigonometry, right? I hope you watched my previous lectures to get the better understanding of this uh, topic here. So the main concept of this chapter, the main difficult part you can say, okay, the, of the chapter we are going to do today, okay, which is what trigonometric identities uh, we are going to learn today, okay, trigonometric identities and proving based questions, right? We are going to do those. So let's understand this, okay. So basically we have seen previously uh, trigonometric ratios, right? We have seen how do we make the relationship? How do we get the standard values and all, right? We have seen those also. I hope this will not be much difficult uh, here to understand because these identities are based on the uh, those concepts only, right? So you will be understanding. I hope you're going to understand it very easily, but there are proving questions which you might be like finding a little bit tricky to apply these identities, right? So that's what you need to mainly focus on, right? So as you know that we, we, are, we have defined trigonometric uh, ratios, sine, cos, tan for, for a right angle triangle only. So that's why we take the help of right angle triangle again here, A, B, C. So you know that uh, we need to remember what first, A, C square is equals to what? A, B square. I hope you know this already. I, I believe that, but uh, then also I'm writing it again. Hypotenuse square is what? Uh, other two sides, okay, squares ka sum, right? It is what, right? You need to remember Pythagoras theorem. So using this only, we are going to prove or we are going to get the identities, trigonometric identities. So basically there are three trigonometric identities we are going to see, right? One is what sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. First one is what sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. Second one, secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to one. And another one is what cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to one. These are the identities. And how, how do we get these identities? Okay, we can understand that also, but uh, these are the three identities which you need to remember, right? Which we are going to utilize in proving questions, right? So this is what very important. I think it is easy to remember them, right? But we, we should know with the proof, right? We should know their proof. How do, how do they come, right? So I think let me show you here as I used here Pythagoras theorem. So can I divide here both side by AC, right? If I divide here both side by AC, so what I'm going to get AC divided by AC square divided by AC square is equals to, this is what AB divided by AC, the whole square plus BC divided by AC, the whole square. So now this is what here, if this angle is uh, theta, so what is this? Opposite side divided by hypotenuse. That is nothing but sine of theta. And that square is there. Similarly, this is what? Cos of theta and that square. So it is equals to one. So this is how we get these all identities, right? We can get the remaining other two also, right? So let's see further. Okay. By the way, we can relate. We can relate uh, this, uh, these, uh, trigonometric ratios to circle also. But here, as of now, you can understand it trigonometric equations that holds good for every angle is called as trigonometric identity, right? That is the basic definition of identity. Some of the uh, important uh, identities are listed below. Reciprocal identities, Pythagorean identities, ratio identities, opposite angle, okay, right? These all, okay, we will see these all later on, okay, but let's come to these okay i i remember i i believe you know these identities sine theta we have seen this before only right but if you want you can remember now also right okay this one because these are what uh, we need to remember right obviously to proceed further sine theta is what reciprocal of cosec or you can say cosec is what reciprocal of sine right then cos is one by second or secant is one by cos tan is one by cot or cot is one by tan right now these are the Pythagorean identities, 
and one of the proof I showed you just now, right? You can remember uh, this, uh, both are same actually, secant square A minus tan square A is equals to one, right? This is the identity I said, but if you want, uh, you can remember the other way also, right? It's your choice, whichever way you find it easy to remember, you need to remember it. As we said in the definition only, identity angle could be anything, right? So it could be A, it could be B, it could be C, but it has to be same angle. Minus tan square A is equals to one, right? If you take tan to other side, we are getting this, right? Similarly, the third one, right? I hope you got the idea, right? This one here. If you want me to prove, okay, any other identity, okay, I can take the, this identity also we can prove. Let's prove this because I showed earlier first one, you can to prove this also right now, okay? Proof. So again, we make a right angle triangle. A, B, C here, right angle. Now let's say this angle is theta or this angle is A as they mentioned A here. So let's take it A only, A itself. Okay, this is what angle A. So now what I can say here, okay. Again, Pythagoras, uh, Pythagorean triplet is there, right? A, A C square is equals to what? Uh, a B square plus B C square, right? Now what I, I want to get, I want to get this time, secant square, right? Secant is what? Hypotenuse divided by opposite side, right? So let's leave the opposite side to one side and take VC to other side. So AC square minus BC square is equals to AB square. Now I'm going to divide both side by, I'm going to divide both side by AB square. So what will happen? You can see if I divide both side by a b square. So what do I get here? I think you can understand this easily. It will be a c square divided by a b square minus b c square divided by a b square and this is equals to one. Now what is a c divided by a b? Isn't it uh, cosec square a minus b c? Base upon, okay, BC is what uh, now here, base upon opposite side, that is cot square A is equals to one, right? So this is how we can prove, right? You can prove the second one also, right? By the way, you can see this relation also by taking a unit circle, we can show if this angle is theta. So this Y here and X here, we can represent here cos theta and sine theta. As you know, sin, cos theta is what? Base upon hypotenuse. So X coordinate is becoming cos theta. I hope you got the idea. Cos theta is equals to base X divided by one. So X coordinate, X is equals to cos theta, right? So cos theta represents what? X coordinate and similarly Y, is theta, y represents, uh, sine theta represents Y coordinate, right? In a unit circle, right? Like that. If we take any point on the circle like this. Okay, and you can remember later on that it is representing this circle also, right? So this identity is quite related to this. So now let's do this question, simple, simple questions first. Okay, it is what one by one minus cos square theta, right? Now, do we know the identity which is what like sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one? So if I take cos square theta to other side, sine square theta, is equals to one minus cos square theta, right? So I can put it here, one by sine square theta. Now one by sine square theta is nothing but cosec square theta because we know cosec theta is what one by sine theta, right? This is how we are getting it. So we simplified it, right? Yes, you can leave it till there also. Now ratio identities, we know this tan theta is equals to sine theta by cos theta and cot theta is what? Cos theta divided by sine theta. We have seen this before also, right? 
Okay, let's see this question now. In a right angle triangle, ABC, right angle at B, hypotenuse is this, base is this, and perpendicular is this. Find 10 theta. I think we have seen this question before. Okay, no problem. Let me show you again. Okay, as it is repeated here, but this type of question we, we have seen before also. A, B, now uh, this is C. B, C is three, this is what, four. So tan theta finding is very easy. It is what, four divided by three, right? Angle ACB is what uh, theta, so you can see this is what we got. Okay, now you can remember these all opposite angles identities, right? Sine of minus theta is what minus sine theta, and <coughs> you you would not be requiring it much as of now, but if you want, you can remember. Okay, sine of minus theta, right? Sine of any angle minus theta is equals to minus sine theta and cos of minus theta is what cos theta. It's sine doesn't uh, change the value because we say in the fourth quadrant it is positive. By the way, you are going to learn this uh, later on. You don't need to worry about this part as of now. This is not in the portion of your 10th grade, okay, as of now. So, but these are complementary angles. These are there, right? These are there. These all you need to remember, right? And I think we have discussed these before also in the last lecture, right? Okay, we have discussed this that uh, in a right, uh, let me show you again first one proof. How do we get it? In a right angle triangle, if it is there, like this, this angle is what theta here. So how much is this angle? 90 minus theta by angle sum property, you can see that. So A, B, C. Now here, sine, of 90 minus theta for this angle what is the opposite side this bc so it will be bc divided by ac now what is cos of theta cos is what base upon hypotenuse so bc upon ac so that's why these two are equal right you can say right that's why this identity right we uh, say that it is what true right that is how it is becoming true here right Okay, <clears throat> we can do this question also, uh, but I think we have done this before as well. But if you want, okay, I can do it right uh, now also. Tan of 2a is equals to using above identity, we can say it can be written as 90 minus a minus 60 degree. Or you can change tan a to cot. Okay, this is your choice, whichever way you want to do. So I changed it to this tan. Now 2a is equals to 90 minus a plus 60. So 3a is equals to 150 and a is equals to 50 degree, right? You can take time, okay, to solve this, right? Okay, like you can pause for some time and then you can observe, right? Now this angle sum and sum and difference of identities, right? So we will see those all later on, but let's come to this question. This type of questions are what you have in 10th grade, okay, right now you need to deal with these kind of questions. This is what identity based questions, we need to prove it, okay. So LHS here, we take LHS is what? One minus sine of A divided by one plus sine of A, right? This is what there, we have this, right? So now we, I need to get it equal to this. So let's see, okay, what we can do here. So do, do you see here what uh, changes I can make here? Here, one minus sine of A, I can multiply one minus sine of A, right? So what I, what, what do I get here? When I, when I, uh, I, I can see it is one minus sine of A whole square and divided by here, A plus B, A plus B, A minus B gives me what a square minus b square right so that is what using that i can write down one square one square is one only and then minus sine square a now using first identity sine square of theta plus cos square theta is equals to one so if i take sine to other side what is it cos square theta is equals to one minus sine square theta so using this can i write down here what is it going to be cos here 
1 minus sine of a whole square divided by it is going to be cos square a now can i do this okay like uh, square is there here also here also so i can write down 1 minus sine of a divided by cos of a the whole square now you might say okay how did you get the idea to do this because i can see right side whenever you're doing proof proof of any any proving question like this you need to keep in mind what is the right side right so here i can see like this only or like something like whole square i need to get so now i can do here one minus that's how i got the idea that this is what i should uh, make it a whole thing like that minus here sine of a divided by cos of a now it is what secant a minus 10 of a which is what r rhs right so this is what this kind of proving question this is what really good question okay like this questions you need to practice to get the idea now it might be difficult what should i how should i proceed okay that main ch challenging thing is what how should i proceed okay like this like how should i get started right so this is what by practicing few questions you need to think okay we need to take the conjugate or something like that okay we need to simplify right we need to you know like rhs we need to reach to so that's what you need to figure out the method right you need to take the help of all the identities which you know already so i have used these all right and you should mention them on the side so that it, you, you examiner is understanding what you're trying to uh, use and understand right there okay fine they have taken here rhs and then they proved it okay so it's pretty much same okay there is no problem you can take any side now we come to this identity okay let's do this question now prove that this is equal to this okay so you can see lhs i have tan and rhs i have secant four and secant square right so i'm going to start with again lhs lhs is what tan raised to four theta plus tan square theta now i can see something is common so let's take that common first so I get here 10 square theta plus one. Now we know the identity secant square theta is equals to one plus 10 square theta, right? So I can see clearly I can put here secant uh, square theta. So 10 raised 10 square theta and here it is what? Secant square theta. Now this thing also I can write, okay? The, uh, now 10 square theta is what? secant square theta minus one right so i because i need to change everything to right side i can see seek seek is there so that's why change it to that okay here it is what secant square theta minus one into secant square theta so it is secant raised to four theta minus secant square theta that's all it is what right hand side right now you should uh, do these all questions without uh, like you can understand first time and then you need to try it by your own you need to figure out it looks very easy when you read the solution but when you try it okay that's what the actual thing like you need to if you can get it by yourself in the first attempt that will be like great but if you're not getting take the help of the solution and try to do it again yourself right so this is what again they have done from the rhs okay no problem now let's try this question okay what i should uh, say you should try it by your own first okay you should not take the help of uh, the solution here you should uh, pause it pause the video and try to do it yourself right give it give it a serious attempt and then look at the solution so let me get started with this okay lhs is what cos theta divided by one minus tan theta plus sine theta divided by 1 minus cot theta right this is what lhs and i can see rhs is what sine and cos so it is better to change everything to sine and cos right so cos theta divided by 1 minus sine theta by cos theta plus here sine theta 1 minus cos theta by sine theta now i can take the lcm here so you know that okay when i take the lcm this denominator of denominator 
denominator cos theta will go as in the numerator, right? That is the uh, basic thing. So I'm getting this here. I took the LCM of the denominator and then I made uh, this going up, okay, like cos theta. Similarly here, sine square theta and it is what? Cos theta minus sine theta, right? This is what I got, one second, my bad, okay. Yes, now here, sorry. Yeah, now here what I'll do, I'll take the uh, LCM I can take, Okay, one second, it was sine theta minus cos theta. My bad, okay, it was sine theta minus, it was sine theta minus cos theta. So when I take the LCM here, what is the only difference here we have? I can see here, sine theta minus cos theta is there. And here, what do we have? cos theta minus sine theta. So can I do here minus cos square theta and I can write down here sine theta minus cos theta, which is same as here also. So that's why sine square theta. So I kind of made the LCM same by taking just minus out here. So now what I, we do next, what is the next thing? We can see in the numerator, we have this A square minus B square form, which can be written as A plus B into a minus b. So that's why it is what? Sine theta plus cos theta into sine theta minus cos theta divided by down it is sine theta minus cos theta, right? Now this is getting canceled. You can see Okay, let me use different color too so that it should not be confusing for you. I'm canceling this bracket with this. And what is this uh, left out? Sine theta plus cos theta, which is what R R H S. That's all done, right? So this is how you need to practice of the, uh, you need to do the practice of some questions to get the confidence here, right? Topic is easy if you practice enough, otherwise, it might be difficult also. So that's why you should have the proper practice of these all questions. You need to do enough practice to gain the confidence in this topic. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, attending the session. Thank you.